Basically, uh, what had happened, we, uh, we had closed the night before and my administrative assistant, Tina, came in the next morning and when she opened the door, she could feel humidity. And she said, this is weird, I feel humidity. And then she could start to hear some water. So she just followed the sound and it went back into the men's uh, bathroom and locker room. And here one of the toilets had broken and was all the PSIs coming out of the one area, shooting to the ceiling, ripping off the plaster off the ceiling. Plaster came down off the ceiling, covered the drain. And next thing there's three or four inches of water through the whole area. It was just, you know, it was a disaster because it, it's, it was not only a month before we're ready to open at, or less. You know, now you have a huge cleanup and I was, I, I was really worried that there was no chance that we'd have it ready and we'd have the bathrooms in that area ready for opening day. Well, they came in and uh, Jose was basically, I guess, their project manager uh, or, or foreman, whatever. And he came in and he got working with my administrative assistant. Uh, and they got a house down here and he brought their crew in and they just they just went at it. And I, I said what our deadline was. You know, we had to open at 7 a.m. November 15th. And he looked at me and he says, we'll make it. I will, I will make it, you know. And, you know, they stayed here 24 seven. They work weekends uh, into the night. In the end, they got it done. I mean, it, they, they finished up at 9.30 that Thursday night and we opened at 7 a.m. Friday morning and no one would have known anything happened. The place actually looked better than, than it did prior to it. It was, it was awesome because they became like part of our family. LI became part of the family. And everybody was working together just like they worked for us. And you know, like his pride in trying to make our place look as good as we wanted it. Uh, you could see that pride that he had and he carried it over. And it was like, you know, you developed a, a close bond and friendship. You know, between everybody there, uh, I really didn't have to do anything. They took care of it. And so it, it seems like everything's gone well. They, they were positive about it. They, they were very positive about it. I mean, they knew the situation we were in and uh, they didn't hold us up in any way, which was great. You know, a lot of times though, you'll get held up. We didn't get held up. It was, it went well. I mean, I couldn't be more pleased. I've, I've never had a problem with our insurance. We've had these guys forever. And, uh, you know, it's, they've always been there whenever we need it. We haven't had much ever, but uh, they've always been there. So, and they were there this time. I mean, they, were, they knew, you know, being involved in golf like they are, they knew how desperate we were to get open. <laughs> Oh, I'd have to give them a 10, a 10 plus. Yeah, they were, they were terrific. I mean, there, I, there was never a problem. Never a problem, just super supportive. I mean, that's what you don't usually get. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I would, I would never uh, go anywhere else. Super supportive. I mean, that's what you don't usually get. The super supportiveness, and you could feel uh, their desire to, to get it done for us, you know? Like I said before, it's, they really were like part of our family. That's the best way I could describe it. And I don't think you could give a better compliment than that, really. Well, you know, if, if you have allied, okay, just trust them. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, uh, I was always nervous that it wasn't gonna happen, you know what I mean? Because I always expect the worst and that it's, that it turns out better for me most of the time. And, and it really looked like we didn't have a chance to make it. And Jose just kept assuring me, we'll get it done, trust me, we'll get it done. No matter what it takes, we'll get it done. And he meant it. A lot of times guys give you that lip service, they don't mean it. He meant it. So that's, 
that's what was, was so impressive, that his word was his bond, and I'm a big, big fanatic on that.